Hello friends, Min from Honest Stampage here. I'm kind of excited because today I'm doing another Dollar Tree craft. So I saw these darling little bags that are bunnies with ears and they come two to a pack for a dollar, which I thought was fantastic. And I like to do a little banner to go up in my dining room for different holidays. And I thought these would be perfect for Easter. And so today I'm going to make a darling little banner using these bunny bags, maybe these carrots, maybe and these buttons and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew the ears together I know that sounds horrific right but I'm gonna sew the ears together so that it creates a really cute bunny banner so let's go ahead and start I have these buttons because I kind of wanted them to go in the middle so let's go ahead and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna kind of fold this in half it's about right at that point so I'm gonna push this right through at the center bring it through my baton <laughs> baton sorry I don't know why that cracks me up but it does put it back through the other side and I'm not a sewer okay so yeah we're gonna deal with this and I'm just gonna go straight through let me make sure I'm in the center of this straight through this side and let's see how that looks Oh, that's cute. I want to make sure that I keep them going horizontally. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a few more stitches in here to kind of keep this together a little bit better. And I'm going to repeat this process on all of the ears. Now, not all of the ears actually though, because the very end ears I need to do something different with. I'm not trying to sew these on perfectly. I'm not trying to sew these on like so permanently that they'll never come off. Although I'm hoping they won't come off. I'm trying to do this quick and easy, okay? So don't judge me how I'm doing this because I'm sure there are people who are gonna be like, oh girl, that's not how you sew. Yeah, I know. I'm not a sewer, okay? I'm just not a sewer. So let's knot this off a couple of times. I'm going to repeat this with all of the ears that are going to be on the outside and then the end ears are going to get a little bit of a different treatment. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of this and then I'll be back to show you what I've got. Alright friends, I am back. I've got all of my cute little button ears sewed together and it's time for us to take the next step. So I don't really want these to look like bags up top so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to undo both sides of this cording and I'm gonna pull it out from the bag now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use one of these pieces on either ear at the end as the way that I'm going to attach it and actually I think I might only need one so I'm gonna save these because you never know what you can use these for and I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these out of the tops here we go Alright, so now that I've got all of those out from up here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hot glue the tops of each of these so that they stay closed and so that nothing interesting gets inside of them because who knows, you know what I mean? Who even knows? So now that all of those are glued together, I'm going to work on the ends of the ears that are going to stick, well they're not going to stick out. These ears are going to be the ones that are used to hang things with. So I'm going to take one of those pink cords and I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to just simply tie the end back up like this. Now that I have this nice little loop, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna hot glue this part to the back of the ear. You could also sew it, but I'm lazy and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna hot glue. Mm -hmm. 
this is what it looks like on the outside. So it's gonna be perfect. Let's do that to the other end here. Perfect, and this is what it looks like on the other side. So now I've got my two little loops that'll hold it in place. And now I kind of want to go back and embellish these little buttons and maybe some of the bunny faces. I'm not sure if I want to incorporate these carrots or not, but I have these darling little carrots that I thought might be cute. I could go back and forth like this or like this and leave it in the middle. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I've got these little carrots. I'm gonna need five of them because I have five bunnies. And I'm just gonna hot glue these to where it looks kind of like the bunny's gonna eat it. I just found these flowers that I have from Hobby Lobby like six years ago. <laughs> and as you can see, they haven't been opened, but I think that these will actually be perfect in the centers of these buttons because they're kind of flat. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. They're kind of flat and they're about the same size. So we've got all of those flowers on and I think this darling banner is done. I know you're not going to really be able to see it very well on camera how it will hang so I will try to put pictures but I think this is super cute and I'm excited to put this up in my kitchen window for Easter. I will take pictures of how this looks hanging up. Hopefully this inspires you to do something fun for your decor. Make it festive, make it fun. And until next time, friends, hugs and happy crafting. Bye.